Okay, we're over to Aintree now and uh, for the Betfred handicap hurdle over two mile four ferns, a massive field here. So number one is Paratus for Tam King, two Fruits of Your Labours, Joshua, three Moore's Memory for David Robson, coming to a fisher of Joshua Sutherland is four, Briona Rank of Darren Thompson, Dan Bigger for Pontypool Racing, Demurgo for Tam King, Kate Burley for Paul Rhodes, Highland Fort for Jim Murray, the Whitest for Darren Thompson, Jessica Rabbit for Martin Leadham, Black Benny for Molly at Surfer, Lord Glen Carrick for Martin Leadham, Norman Bread for Dill Hinton, Montrose for David Robson, Black Rain for Molly at Surfer, Hilltop Fort for Jim Murray, Dancing Dag for Dad for Kevin Meenahan, Holly West for Graham Clutterbuck, Killing Viking for Darren Howes, Indy Leaf for Carl Arrogante, Business Lady Alex Jerry, Gilda Kevin Meenahan, Denz Appeal, Obi-Wan, Tainted Tina, Stu Gray, Wolf, James Follis, Business Wars for Alex Cherry, and Ricky Arda for James Follis makes up 28. Massive field over this two and a half miles here at Aintree. Heavy conditions. <coughs> Excuse me, and they're away. Oh, and we've got two that are fouled to go there. Killing Viking again for Darren Howes, and the whitest of Darren Thompson ever refused to race. That's two races in a row that Darren, sorry, that uh, Darren Howes has had horses not race. Anyway, they're over the first hurdle. Still getting over the shock of that. They'll have another 11 flights to take. As we wait for them to settle down, it looks like Business Wars and Indy Leaf. Indy Leaf out wide, gets over the second, as does the remainder. Right at the rear is Tainted Tina. The whitest is not showing as uh, not running. They're all over the third. It certainly didn't, and it's Indy Leaf that leads, come out from the middle of the pack, over towards the fence, and it's got a couple of lengths advantage from Business Wars and Business Lady. And it's Cherry Horses, a couple of grades of Dan Bigger, Paratus, in between those is Hilltop Fault, through the woods. They're being followed through by Moore's Memory and Black Benny. They all get over the fourth, I think. Yes, they do. Fruits of the Labour. Oh. oh, I think this race should be rerun. Anyway, it's Indy Leaf that wit is leading from Business Wars and Business Lady, Hilltop Fulton K. Burley, Dan Bigger and Paratus the Greys, and there's Moore's Memory with a Yellow Cat, Rio Naranka, Black Benny, Fruits of Your Labour, Come to Fruition, Wolf, sort of mid to Rear pack, Demurgo, Tainted Tina, Ricciardo, they're all over the fifth. We've got Norman Bread and the Pink Silks, Gilder and Dancing Dad, the two greens with the orange cap towards the fence, towards the rear. And then all Glen Craig, just a rabbit, Dan's appeal on the whitest. They're all over the sixth of the twelve. They're going to come past the winning post, they'll have a circuit to go. And we're still being led by Indy Leaf. By length and a half to Business Wars, Business Lady, Hilltop Fort, K. Burley, the greys apparatus and bigger. And uh, the one just on the outside of that is Black Benny. So as they take this left turn here, your entry, the crowd screaming. I think if you can get uh, ahead here in these heavy conditions, always makes it difficult for the rest to catch up. But it's Indy Leaf that leads. I would imagine uh, Josh's horse would be loving these heavy conditions. He loves it when it's soft and moist and wet. Anyway, it's Indy Leaf the leads by a couple of ranks from Business Wars and Business Lady and Hilltop Fault. And then we've got Dan Bigger and Paratus, along with Riona Ranka. It's the fence and the blue silks of the white cap, white sleeves. And there's Moore's Memory, come to fruition, Black Benny, Tainted Tina, Wolf, Fruits of Your Labour, Highland Fault towards mid-pack to the rear, and then Black Rain Dancing, Dad de Murgo, Lord Glencarry, Gilda, Ricciardo. Holly West, Dan's appeal, Jessica Rabbit, Norman Red and Montrose just at the rear. The two we've lost, I said, are killing Viking and the whitest. They get over the eighth. But, uh, have we not just seen the whitest? I'm not sure here. I'm very confused. It's Business Wars. Leads them into the ninth. They're over that. Yeah, the whitest was there. That's what I thought. Very strange. For a rerun, but it's Indy Leaf from Business Wars. Hilltop Fort is third, Business Lady is four, Kate Burley five. They're a length of a head away from Dan Bigger, comes to fruition, trying to make up some ground a little bit wide. And Dancing Dad, they get to the tent through the woods, and it's still Indy Leaf that leads us from Hilltop Fort in second. Business Wars is starting to go backwards on the outside, is Black Benny, but they're going to throw down a challenge to this Indy Leaf now with three and a half furlongs left to run on a couple of 
hurdles to take, and it's Indy Leaf pulling away again here from Black Rain and Black Benny. Fruits of your labour moving through, as well as Hilltop Fault, but it's still Indy Leaf that leads us. Orange Nojito making some ground up, but Indy Leaf's going to lead them into the penultimate. Leads by a couple, gets over it well. Slow jumps from the rear from Black Rain, Hilltop Fault, and Riona Ranka, the ground, the outside, damn bigger, but it's still Indy Leaf. Here comes Hilltop Fault to challenge, and he's just flown past him here. Inside the final funnel, he got over the last and it's Hilltop Fault just pulling away from the rest here. Hilltop Fault's going to take the bet for a handicap hurdle here for Jim Murray. Leeds wins it by a couple of lengths from Black Rain from Molly at Surfer. Poor old Indy Leaf going backwards, not going to pick up any prize money. So it's a win for Hilltop Fault in a very strange race. So Jim Murray takes that. Well done. Second, Black Rain for Molly at Surfer. Third, Rio Naranka for Darren Thompson. Fourth was Highland Fork for Jim Murray. And fifth was Dan Bigger for Ponty Paul. Let's look at the bottom of the card. We certainly know uh, Darren Howes has a few horses that refuse to run. That's two in a row. One over at Sandown, the last race. One here at Aintree. Let's see what happened to the whitest. Darren Darren House took no part, so he didn't. Darren Thompson, front rank early, was it? Close up halfway, then pulled up. Well, he didn't. He didn't start at all. I'm surprised the race runner didn't choose to do that one again.